Hi guys, welcome back to Discord Classroom. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about a therapy called ultrafiltration, which means fluid removal. And it's a way of extracting a portion of plasma volume, which is the liquid portion of the blood, directly from the bloodstream. And this is a technique that's been around for a long time, usually in the form of dialysis machines. But today I'm gonna to talk specifically about the Aquadex device, which does isolated ultrafiltration, meaning just fluid removal. And so let's jump in. So what is ultrafiltration? It's a therapy that removes isotonic fluid from the blood. The term isotonic means it has the same concentration of salt as what's in the blood normally, and that's also the same as normal saline. If you were to take a test tube of blood and break it up into its components, you would find that a portion of the blood is plasma, which is this fluid similar to normal saline. There's a buffy layer, which is what contains the white blood cells, and the remainder is going to be your red blood cells, which comprise about 45% of your blood, meaning 55% is left over to the plasma because less than 1% is that buffy layer. What happens with patients when they're in fluid overload is that plasma water is a larger portion of that blood breakdown because they have all of this excess fluid in the blood. So the patient's hematocrit, which is the percent of blood that's red blood cells, goes down from 45% to 35% in this case. Now let's apply this ultrafiltration or UF therapy to start to take away some of that excess plasma fluid. That's going to get the blood volume back into balance. Let's talk about the actual device, which is a console that's roughly the size of a backpack. It has a screen that the user can interact with, a pad of buttons, and a blood pump on the front that's gonna rotate in order to draw blood into the filter, which is attached to the console along with all of the tubing. And the filter has a number of tiny straws within it that the blood's gonna go through, and those straws have tiny pores or holes that are going to allow water and electrolytes to pass across the filter membrane and be collected in the bag, and that's the ultrafiltrate. When the blood pump starts to spin, it's going to withdraw blood from the patient's catheter and push it up into the filter. There's a separate pump on the side of the machine called the UF pump, and when that starts to spin, it's going to start to collect ultrafiltrate or this plasma solution and collect it in what's called the ultrafiltrate bag that can then be emptied. Meanwhile, the blood that's already been treated needs to go back to the patient, so there's an infusion line that goes back to that same catheter. So if we were to shrink this and show you the full setup, the catheter is the tubing that's inserted into a patient's arm, and that's where we're able to withdraw blood to go towards the filter and also return blood back to the patient. The device is usually next to the patient's hospital bed, but it does come on a stand with wheels so that the patient can get up and move around. Whether a patient is fluid overloaded because of heart failure or a different disease state, there are many benefits to ultrafiltration therapy. For one, it's a safe and predictable way of removing that excess fluid. The device is portable so patients can get up and move around. There are some automated features, including a hematocrit limit where the UF pump will turn off if a limit is exceeded. And it's a small volume of blood outside of the patient's body, only 35 milliliters. I've added the indication for ultrafiltration with Aquadex specifically, and you can visit the Newellis website for more details on this device.